What's going on YouTube? Welcome to the channel, Mitchie Boy here, and today I want to show you guys a few other websites that you can um, use to upload your DNA data that you are uh, from uh, MyHeritage.com if you've done a DNA test on there already. Um, Labor Day special. Oh, it's only... okay. Um, so yeah, come to your MyHeritage website log in and you want to go to manage dna kits because you're going to have to download your dna data uh for one of the websites or two of the websites actually that we're going to use um so go to manage dna kits hopefully that'll load up in a second computer runs really slowly when i'm running this uh screen recording software but yeah it's all right i suppose Right, so manage DNA kits, and what you want to do is you want to um, uh, you want to click on these three dots here, and then you want to click um, download kit, and that will download the DNA data to your computer. Be in a zip folder, and you can upload that to a couple of other websites. There could be more websites that I know of, but. Um, just a few that I've found already. Um, so this is my ethnicity estimate on myheritage.com. So And uh, they come back with North and West Europe, European, 85.6%, English, Irish, Scottish and Welsh, North and West European, and then East European, 14.4%. Um, and this one here is Family Tree DNA. Uh, family Tree DNA. This one you can go to my origins. You just want to make an account. They give you a, they give you like a password and a kit number or something like that, and then you upload your uh, DNA. Actually, you don't upload it. You just, uh, you just transfer it. You just log in, and then they'll send you to, um, send you to myheritage.com to log in and agree that you, that it's you and stuff like that. And you want to transfer your information. Um, so this one has my origins, says 99% European, West and Central Europe 37%, British Isles 33 Scandinavian 29 oh, let's see if it's says show all, um, and this one says less than 1% for East Europe, which is weird. Uh, so yeah, that, that's the mod, and there's also an ancient one, I'll have a look at that, I think that's going back like a long, long time ago, Ancient Origins, Metal Invader. 16% farmer, 43%, 41% hunter and gatherer. Um, and then, yeah, it's kind of weird. Let's see if it says any more data or says where you come from more, because that doesn't really show you where you come from. Okay, so yeah, that's the ancient one. I don't understand that really at all. Uh, the next website we're going to have a look at is DNA Land. This one you just create an account and then you upload your DNA, DNA data. And um, this one here um, has like relatives 
relatives of relatives ancestry report and trait prediction report so it like predicts like eye color or um, personality traits and stuff like that but you also do a survey so yeah I'm not sure about that uh, this one here says North and West, North West European 79%, North Slavic, Slavic, uh, which is, let's have a look what it says, North Slavic is uh, Belarus, Estonia, uh, Lithuania, Moldovian and Russian, and Russia and Ukrainian. That's 14, 15%, which is more accurate, more accurate, um, so it's more like the My Heritage test. This one also has 4.7% Sardinian, which is Sardinia, Italy. That's all it says for that one. And then Ambiguous, which is West Eurasian, is a very general, general category containing Arab, Egyptian, Ashkenazi. <laughs> Levantine, Central Asian, North East European, South Asian, South European, North West European, South Western European, and Central Indo European. Okay, so it's kind of weird, <laughs> but I mean, that's a big group of people. Uh, and yeah, that's pretty much it. Uh, the next one is. GEDmatch.com, this one is very, very confusing. Uh, you also have to download your DNA data and upload it to this one as well. And, um, GEDmatch. Dot com. I'd already um. I'll just pause this to log in. So yeah, this is just um the. This is the. Uh, gedmatch.com, I don't really understand it. Uh, there's stuff like here to predict your eye color and stuff. And uh, this one here is for heritage. But I don't really understand it. Um, but you might know what, what it means and stuff. Let's see if it will load up. And then it has all these options here, like select the project, and I don't think I've done any of these, so I just selected like a random one, um, and then it makes no sense at all. So maybe, I don't know. It seems compatible when I entered like my, when I uploaded my, um, thing but doesn't seem to work but maybe you guys know comes back with some random ass stuff one one of them said like Indian and Asian or something from like 40,000 years ago though and it was just like heaps of random stuff um, I'll pause it for a moment and then I'll enter my kit number and I'll show you guys what I mean see as you can see it says uh, African 0 0.11 um, a meridian no idea what that means. 0 0.13 Basel 2.42 Iran Mesothelic 1.69 Neothelic 32.89 EHG two, two, This makes like no sense to me whatsoever. Uh, maybe a... Yeah, hey, that's weird, man. So, if you guys know what this stuff means, I'll probably Google it at the moment and try and figure it out. But yeah, it doesn't really make any sense to me. But yeah, that's pretty much it. That's what I know, I guess, um, about it. Uh, but yeah, 
you might as well try and upload your DNA to these sites as well. See, just for a comparison, see if you can, like, yeah, figure it out. Also, if you guys know any other sites that you would recommend that I would upload my DNA data to, drop a comment below and let me know. And I know I had something else to say, but I can't remember. So, yeah, it's pretty much it. Cheers for watching and uh, see you later.